going everybody hope you're enjoying your weekend and if you've been keeping up to this point you'll probably be interested in hearing how to get the homebrew switch store running on either of your nintendo switches this one here is running on 4.1.0 and this one here is running on 5.0.2 so yes it does work on both some of the apps within it and emulators may run better on 4.1.0 I'd say lower firmwares do work a little better with the emulators themselves the store works on both so now what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to plug your micro SD card into your computer and you're gonna wanna go to this website I'm gonna include the link that's the link there and you're going to want to download the app store dot zip. You're going to download that file. I already downloaded it. Now once you download it, go into it or unzip it. And there's a file within it. The file you just downloaded from the website I just said. So when you go into it with WinRAR or whatever program you like to use to go into your zip files you will drag that switch file into your SD card in a specific location. I'm going to show you where. So on your SD card, you go into the root of your SD card. And then here in the root of your SD card, you're going to drag this file over. And you're going to place it there. I don't want to do this, obviously. So I'm just going to stop it all together because I already have the file on my SD card. But once you do that, drag this file, as I said, onto your switch. Within it should be this file here, the app store. That is the file that's gonna be useful for you. Because that file in there is actually the app store itself. If I was to go in there, see, in the RAR folder, the zip folder right here, you can see that's the file that's within it. The other folder, I had the nuts folder that was actually for um, backing up your saves. You can look at a video I have for that, backing up your saves on your Nintendo Switch. So that's basically how you do it. Once you do it, you put your Switch into RCM mode with all the other files, you'll get an instructional video if you go and look on the channel on how to get it all running, homebrew in general. Once you put your switch into RCM mode and boot it up, you will go into the albums. And when you go into the albums, you'll be greeted with this good old store. And the homebrew app store should appear like that. You click into it, it'll load. I'm going to do the same on here just to show that 4.1.0 is working too. And there is touch recognition actually, so it's pretty nice. You can actually, some of these aren't working, a lot of them aren't, so what are you going to do? Give it time, things will happen, don't start bugging for updates and everything. It'll happen, it takes time. It's a lot of work for people to do, to get all this good stuff running. The app store again, and on both versions you should see the app store running. And you will be good to go. Um, let me see something real quick. There we go. Also, I guess it's the joysticks aren't actually working, and it's the D-pad. Or you can use touch, as I said. I think it's the same for both. Yeah, both firmwares are the same. So you either use the D-pad and the buttons to pick what you're you're on. You know, flashback, boom, kind of thing. Close it. Yeah, once you do that, I could show you real quick. Just download something. If it works, we'll see. If it actually works. Um, is there anything here? I've downloaded so many already. Plus, I've done it through other ways of getting these apps on here. Now, if I go back into my album, that space game I just downloaded should be there. 
Uh, where is it? It should be here. Um, sometimes it doesn't have a picture, right? And if it doesn't have a picture, you got to go searching for it. Uh, let's see, maybe. I'm, oh, there it is, space. See, sometimes you may not get a picture. Let's see if it works. Uh, I don't think it's going to work. No, see, some things just don't work. So, I don't want my switch to error out and crash or whatever. Some things may do that. If you run into an issue where um, your switch goes to sleep and it remains black, it's not turning on, hold the power button for about 10 to 15 seconds. Let go, then push the power button again. Your switch should turn back on. Um, other than that, I'm going to have some more videos coming up. And I may explain where exactly to put the ROMs for one of the emulators that are on here, actually. Um, if I find it real quickly. PFBA. Yeah, so I may get to uh, show you where the ROMs go for that itself. Don't be asking me where to get them from. But I'll show you where you need to put them. And... Uh... Where's it right here? Yeah, PFBA. Pretty good. It's nice and useful. It works on both, actually. That's one thing you can say works for sure. Um, Zelda doesn't work on 5.0.2, I think, on Homebrew. But it does work on 4.1.0. Um, and yeah. Now we got all these, these games here. Um, let's see what we can try and pull up a game real quick, just to show. I want to find something specific, so please bear with me. Uh, where is it? Is it on this one? Maybe it's on the other switch. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I wanted to start up Sonic and Knuckles. The volume does work. Ta-da. I'm going to turn it down. Um... And over here, it's showing another game. There are um, actual arcade games working too and everything like that. And I'm going to look for a quick little game. You know what? If I have it here on here, I'm going to show you a nice game I like. Yes, they're both working. Uh, where's the game? Where's the game? Where's the game? No. Nope. I think it's in the list right now. I'm going to have to change my list. And show hardware all. Oh, no, it should be there. I'm looking for a specific game. And I haven't seen it yet. It might be down here. There it is. Sorry about the delay, I really wanted to find that game specifically. As you can see, Sonic and Knuckles does work. So does the volume. Oh, careful. That's what happens when you're doing it with one hand. I'm going to turn the volume down real quickly, we don't need that running. Um, so yeah, I'm going to play with this joystick because I can actually push the buttons too at the same time. Not bad for someone playing with one hand, that's for sure. Pretty good. Yeah, it's working. Very responsive. No delay. Uh, this is an arcade version of Marvel vs. Capcom, so i got to insert some coins. It looks like it was a 50 cent game. Now the video is going to be over in just a second, so I hope you enjoy, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, and have a great weekend. Enjoy and have fun, especially with all this, because I'm sure you will. Select mode, manual, turbo, who cares, let's just get it working. I'm going to use this joystick just because I can push buttons at the same time, but as you can see, it's running. So be sure to hit that subscribe notification icon so you get all the latest. Take care, all the best.
Leonidas out. 